Hello there, wrestling fans. Adam from What Culture here, as always, hot off the heels of Monday Night Raw, and I want to talk to you about what went down. What a way to kick off this week's episode of Monday Night Raw, the show opening with a bang as we started with the seven-man gauntlet match at the very beginning of the show. This one started with Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins going head-to-head, -head, the first two men in the gauntlet match, and would you believe it, Roman Reigns lost. It had been a back and forth match between these two guys but it was Rollins who snuck the win after Reigns went to roll him up and he reversed that into a quick roll up and got the 1-2-3 on Roman Reigns. Really good storytelling here to be fair because if you think back to the Rumble, Reigns it was who eliminated Rollins from the Rumble so Rollins gets his revenge with the pin against Reigns tonight in this gauntlet match but I guess ultimately it was designed to try and put us off the scent that Roman Reigns is going to be getting anything other than a big fat W at the Elimination Chamber. Now I'm not an idiot but if you were to chop my nose off and mail it to Timbuk2, I'd still be able to smell the sweet aroma of Roman Reigns being strong. Next into the match was John Cena, and this was a throwback to the Rollins Cena match that we got at SummerSlam 2015, and my goodness, it did not disappoint. Rollins was given a chance to prove that he still got it and that he can live up to the moniker of Monday Night Rollins, and my word, did he prove it. And on top of that, this is probably the best match we've seen from John Cena since his match with AJ Styles at the Royal Rumble 2017. And it was Rollins who managed to get the win after battling through a number of Cena attacks. There were some spots where you just thought there's no way he's getting out of that. He kept kicking out, kept kicking out, and every dog has its day. And Seth Rollins was the big dog, or the big dog's little brother in this case. Next up was Elias, and he came down to the ring to pick the bones of Seth Rollins, who'd just been through a long match with John Cena, and obviously the match with Roman Reigns before that. But nevertheless, it proved that Elias was one step too far for Rollins. After a little bit of back and forth, he did do everything he could to try and beat the drifter. But in the end, it was a drift away from Elias that put Rollins to bed. And great storytelling again, kept Rollins strong. he just been through the two top guys in the company. And Elias was there doing the perfect heel win, which given the fact that he's last in the Elimination Chamber, could be exactly what he does on Sunday. Then it was time for Finn Balor to hit the ring and join the action. Elias had just gone through Rollins in fairly quick form by comparison of all the other matches. So to have Elias and Balor going one-on-one -on -one was about as even as it was going to get at this stage. After some heavy hitting from both guys wearing the other one down, it was eventually Finn Balor who got the win with a coup de grace to the ribs of Elias. Obviously, that's great for Balor getting the win. He obviously gets that stock increase, but also Elias Elias kind of keeps his stock because he gets beaten by the coup de grace, but his ribs were also smashed up the bits after Big Bad Braun hits him with the double base. With two men remaining, it was The Miz who came to the ring next, and as you can imagine, you get The Miz, you also have to get The Miz Taraj. Non-stop throughout the match, The Miz Taraj's shenanigans hindered Bala. A number of times they kept distracting him, kept distracting him. Bala did get the upper hand at one point, but eventually they did get the better of the Irishman. It was The Miz who got the win, landed the skull-crushing finale on Bala, who despite his best efforts, just could not stop the A-lister from putting him away. But unfortunately, for whoever won this match, they were ultimately going to be the loser. Yes, because ultimately the winner of that match would go on to take the last person remaining in the seven-man goal in the match, and that just so happened to be Braun Goddamn Strowman. The Miz tried to run away, but the monster among men was having none of it. Chased down the Miz, grabbed him, and dragged him back to his cave to feast on. And feast he did. There was lots of beating up the Mr. Raj, there was lots of beating up the Miz. The Miz got a tiny little bit of offense in, but ultimately it was always going to end the same way. Braun picking up your carcass, putting it on his shoulder, and power slamming it through the ring, basically. The abominable Strowman ended the match as the winner in the seven-man gauntlet, but the question is, will he be able to do the same in the Elimination Chamber on Sunday? I have a sneaky suspicion it might not be the Strowman, but it might be Roman. Elsewhere, we got the announcement of the latest member to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame class of 2018. And of course, if you've seen the news, it's a good one. It's Jeff Jarrett. Double J was officially announced as the fifth inductee into the Hall of Fame for this year. He will be joining the Dudley Boys, Goldberg and Ivory at the ceremony and what a well-deserved induction this is. Many people thought it would never happen given the relationship between him and Vince McMahon, but if there's somebody in there who deserves to be there on merit, then you have to say it's got to be Jarrett. Asuka was set to have a match tonight, but instead Nia Jax came down, ambushed her from behind and beat the holy hell out of the Empress of Tomorrow. Now the Samoan powerhouse has been booked to look very strong, similar to another Samoan that I know, and she has had two weeks of dominance going into this build-up towards her match with Asuka at the Elimination Chamber. Let's be honest, 
All in all, Nia Jax is just avoiding the inevitable truth with Asuka, and that is that nobody is ready for Asuka. This one was arguably the upset of the night, but if you've been keeping score between the matches between The Bar and Apollo and Titus, you'll know that this should have come as no surprise. Apollo and Titus, or should I say, and this one's for you, Mr. Wilborn, Titus! WORLDWIDE! have had the bar's number over the last month or so, and tonight was no different. Apollo and Titus got the win, Apollo rolling up Cesaro off a schoolboy and stealing the 1-2-3. You have to feel that this win could well put them in the picture for a tag team title match at the Elimination Chamber. And finally, we had the six women tag team match to close out the night. It was Sasha Banks, Bailey, and Mickey James against Sonya Deville, Mandy Rose, and Alexa Bliss. This was a good chance to show us who would be going into the Elimination Chamber with all the momentum, as well as who might be making an allegiance with who in terms of the women in the match. And that's exactly what it did. Sasha Banks was the one who got the win for her team. She submitted Alexa Bliss with the bank statement, but after the match was where it got interesting. So Absolution came in, cleaned house, beat up Bailey, beat up Banks, beat up Mickey James, and then in the middle of the ring was Alexa and Absolution. They were going to go and turn on Alexa Bliss, but then all of a sudden, Mickey James was in to make the save. So at the end of the night, we had Mickey James and Alexa standing on the ramp. They're obviously going to be watching each other's back. Sasha and Bailey are going to have each other's back. And obviously, Absolution are also going to have each other's back. Very interesting stuff. Who's going to help who? Who's going to turn on who? Bailey and Sasha, anybody? Who knows? We'll have to go to the Elimination Chamber to find out. And that is what went down on this week's episode of Monday Night Raw. What did you guys think of it? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want more stuff like this, head over over to whatculture.com right now we've got articles and all sorts coming out of our arse also if you're feeling kind of generous head over to twitter and give us a follow at whatculturewwe my name is adam nicholas this has been what went down and <clears throat> before i lose my throat again as always have a f***ing great day hey guys thanks for watching the video don't forget to subscribe below and if you're looking for more content like this then try a few things that are floating about around my ears might be fun i can't promise it though but it might be.